Hey, I'm Dan, and this is Dan's Planes. sensitive. Okay, I'm going to bring it in left to right. It's downwind. Is it? Yeah, it's not a lot of wind. Yes. Yes. Boy, that was going to the right hardcore. It goes right on the ground.
There we go. Got her trimmed up. Cool. No pass. She looks good against those trees. Yeah, do that again. Okay. See if I can get the whole pass this time. Copy. Gotta make sure my gear's down. Get her down. Okay, good. disappeared on me just some discussion on this so this had sat for you know a good three or four years in my workshop until this year I finally um, refurbished or finished refurbishing the front end because the wood had so much oil in it um, I then put in electric retracts in it which are really cheap China made retracts and I flew it once with the normal radio I used to fly it on all the time, my high-tech Aurora 9, and I landed in the grass, the gear ripped out, um, so I took it back, I fixed that, I put it on my new Radio Master TX-16 and set that up. Um, had some problems trying to figure out how to set up the um, carburetor throws correctly and having a kill switch on it and having a a idle up idle down switch on it so i had to confer with matt on that um so 
now I flew it this evening and it was going a ton, ton, ton to the right. Like it would almost roll by itself if I would have let it um, to the right. So brought it down and what I found was one of the ailerons was the, let's see, the right aileron was deflecting about half deflection just setting it neutral and I remember when I pulled this airplane out on my high-tech radio and it had just been sitting for those three years I pulled it out I had noticed when I turned my high-tech on um, that with my ailerons centered that one aileron was mechanically moved too far um, like half throw so I'm wondering if it was the same one and somehow it's now corrected itself or maybe switching to the radio master um, is, is what corrected it. I can't believe when I stood behind it and tested my, um, tested my surfaces before I flew, I can't believe I wouldn't have seen that aileron sticking up halfway. I mean, that's significant enough. Um, but stranger things have happened, but it's just seems like I would have noticed that. Um, then I noticed after the first flight today, first flight on the Radio Master, I also noticed that um, both ailerons were moving okay with the stick, but when I tried to add trim when I was up in the air and then again down on the ground, the left aileron will not move with trim inputs. I have no idea um, why that is or how that could even happen. So I'm going to have to confer with Matt uh, again on that um, or jump online and see if anybody knows what's going on with that. So after that first flight, I also noticed that one of my wheels was um, pitched to the right. So that's why the ground handling was severe to the right. So I rotated the wheel back where it should be. I set the mechanical um, servo back to neutral, and then I used sub trim on both ailerons, same amount, um, to give me left trim. Then I flew it the second time, which you just saw, and I still had to give it, um, still had to give it trim, but was able to get it trimmed, and then she flew like an old pair of comfortable shoes you you hadn't worn in a long time. So that was all good. And then coming in on approach, um, I went t out too far. I was thinking this was one of my more giant scales. I, I just didn't need that much runway. I didn't need to go out that far. And um, what often happens is when you go, when your plane goes from being in the blue sky down to the trees, Sometimes your eyes have to adjust and you lose the wings and that happened to me. I lost the wings and I couldn't tell what my pitch was. So I came down um, to with my nose pitched down and um, that was the result of the flight you just saw. So um, what might have happened on it is pitching down on the nose, um, making it land a little hard that might have um, jacked up the gear because when I went and picked it up after landing, um, this gear was completely twisted and then this gear was bent. Um, so it could have been cheap gear that gave out and that's what made it continue to pitch down. But I think it was more my fault of um, not being able to see the pitch and being uh, too far down downward in pitch so that's what's going on with this but I've been able to um, uh, bend the retracts back I see I've lost um, one small screw in each of the retracts you can see that um, I'm gonna have to um, straighten these again with the Allen wrench but no big there no biggie but look at all that awful slop that's a lot of slop on these things so that's what's happening with this plane and we'll get her back up in the air sometime
Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dan from Dan's Planes. I just want to share some content about RC planes, something I've been passionate about since childhood. I'm hoping I can teach something to someone. I can start some discussion and learn some things from others. So let's just have some fun and learn some things together. If you enjoyed what you watched, it would really help me out if you could like, subscribe, and share. And if you feel that it helped you out in some way, or it might help future viewers, I'd really appreciate it if you'd visit my Patreon page and become a patron. It's like throwing a dollar tip into a guitar case when you pass by. It helps to, to fund future content and future projects that I'll be working on. I plan to show some past content. I have some other flights and I have some fly-in events that I've been to. And I also plan to show future flights and future repairs, as well as building ARFs and, if I can ever get back to it, building my top flight uh, Spitfire. So there's a lot of content to come, but it's, it's viewers like you that are able to support what I'm doing. And by doing that, I'm able to spend more time creating that content in the future. So I'd really appreciate it. But either way, thanks for watching and thanks for any support. And I wish you blue skies and good speed.